foam. And then for this technique, I'm just going to tap it off because you want it more of a dry brush technique. And I'll just move all of this. Oh, now I'm moving it in your way. That's okay. And then... And you ran that through like a cuddle bug or something? Yeah, this was run through uh, Tim's machine and okay. that's one of his folders. Uh, the Royal... I think it's Royal Flourishes. Okay. And then I'm just going to go like this. And you're using the foam, right? I'm using, yeah, the foam. The so foam the one, thicker okay. one. And I'm just going to hit those high areas like that. So that gives you a similar look. Like that. I like that. And it looks like that, almost that Victorian kind of flocked wallpaper. Really pretty. And then you could bring in another color. And really this feels almost dry, like I'm not getting paint. So you don't want this to be completely saturated because it'll make big, um, big blobs. Okay. So you could see here we're already getting a similar look to when we just uh, put the paint on here and stamped. And then if we want to bring in another color, let's see, let's bring in a little blue. Like that. And again, because we're going to dry brush, I'm just going to tap off. And then add in a little blue to just like a few areas to give it even more dimension. I wish I would have had you sign my canvas yesterday. I could sign. I mean, I'm here till 11. I'm here all day tomorrow, too. Are you? Okay, because I'm yeah. going to come back. I have, like, classes all day today. Yeah, I'm and, here um, all... I'm I've got here it in the 11 car, to 2.30 so or something. Tomorrow? Yeah. Are you, over here? Yeah, right here. Okay, I'll yeah. be here then. <laughs> so, then there you go. You've got... So, you could cut that. You could... I've even used it in pieces on uh, this purse that I made. So, you could incorporate it into here's that same technique uh, there and then this is all on the sticky back canvas which is self-adhesive on the back so you could just go ahead and stick that into your project if you wanted to you could stamp with one of the clear stamps and then cut it out and include it in your project that way now the paper that you gave us yesterday for the front of your canvas you ran that through an inkjet is um, that right? yeah so this is this same exact stuff, uh, the sticky back canvas, okay. and we use the white. It also comes in natural, but you just run it through your inkjet printer. So you can see here, this is a photo of my mom, and I've just uh, run it through the inkjet printer. Now this one I did seal with the multimedia. Because it's an inkjet print, if you get it wet, it'll So after get you damaged. run it through, you take this... Uh, the multimedia. Multi yeah, here. I've okay. got some here. I'll show you how I seal it. Just a minute. I'll get, I'll get this on. Sure. I'll wait. I have no Give me my cue. I have no idea how long this takes a video for. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. So, yeah. So, that one I sealed because if you breathe on it wrong, then the... Um, just because it's inkjet, it's water soluble. I wanted it to be more waterproof. Okay. All right. So that has been ran through, and now yeah. you're going to seal it. So yeah. So this is um, a piece of the sticky back canvas, and, and this is the natural color. And I just ran it through the inkjet printer and just printed this text on it. And what I'm going to do is just seal it quickly with the multimedia and matte. Now, and you the, didn't do that to this, though, We did didn't do it to okay. this. I mean, it's not a, a half-to step. It's okay. just, if you think you may use any water media on top, like paint or okay. anything like that, um, then it's a good idea to seal it. Or if you're just worried about if it gets wet or something like that. Now, the multi-medium is a it could be a sealer, a transfer medium. You can also use it to glue uh, papers 
as well as objects. So um, I, I just use it as my glue and my sealer. So all this. Which is what we did here. Yeah, which is what we did there. Exactly. So I'm just going to put a little bit out. And the multimedia comes with a slightly wider tip. And just take a, a brush and then just brush it on top very lightly because the um, inkjet is water soluble. You don't want to scrub or mash because it will move the uh, image around a little bit. So you just go very lightly to seal it. So that's what I did here and I sealed the whole image in there as well. Yeah, so then you don't have to worry about it getting wet or uh, being damaged in any way that way. Oh.